Hey, how's it going today, guys? Listen, have you guys ever felt burned out? Have you just felt like that you can't find that balance between your work life and your personal life? Well, just stay with me, and I'm going to give you three things to help you out. When the truth don't work, you start telling lies. Thought you were down the ride, you weren't down the ride. Cause switching, you were picking All right. So... You work all the time, man. You're trying to get your businesses going. You're trying to uh, uh, just do all kinds of other stuff. And you find yourself in a crossroads to where your wife fussing at you, the kids cutting up, man, and you're trying to deal with your household stuff and you're trying to deal with your work, but it seems like it's just not working out for you. Well, I got three things, man, that have helped me in the past to help me kind of balance things out so I don't get burnt out doing one or the other. All right, the first thing is you got to keep a schedule. Now, what I mean by a schedule is the same way when you work the job, you work the schedule. You need to do the same thing when it comes to your business. You need to tell yourself, all right, I'm going to start at 7 o'clock this morning and I'm going to end at 7 o'clock tonight. But whatever the schedule is that you make for yourself, you got to try your hardest to stick with it. I know as business owners, a lot of times things get jumbled up and things happen, but you got to try to stick with the schedule that you set for yourself, all right? The second thing is, is to keep it light. Now, this means that don't overload yourself with your work. This is something that I know is very difficult for a lot of us. Um, I know I'm behind about three projects now, um, especially those of us who create because, you know, we get photography clients and we get uh, video clients and everything just kind of clashes and you find yourself uh, just with an overload of work, okay? But listen, you got to try your hardest to keep your workload light. Keep it at a manageable pace for yourself so you can follow that schedule that you set. We got to understand that we don't want to get burnt out, especially doing something that we like doing. Once that happens, it simply becomes work. And when it becomes work, we definitely aren't going to be motivated to get up and do it every day, all right? Now, the third thing is, and I think this is really important, is to keep it real. Keep it real with yourself. Don't try to tell yourself that, one, you are bigger than what you are or that you are smaller than what you are. A lot of times we look at people that are doing our same profession and in our same fields and we look at them and we want to compare ourselves and we put ourselves in this competition with them. There are a lot of video makers out there and filmmakers that do awesome work that will, man, probably just slam me in the ground with some of their content. But guess what? I ain't worried about that. I'm doing what I do. They doing what they do. And that's it. Don't worry about what other people are doing, man. Keep it real with yourself. The moment you start to big yourself up is the moment you're going to crash yourself because you're going to start taking on things that maybe you're not ready for and things you can't handle. And then that's going to kill uh, my second point with keeping it light because you're going to overload yourself and then it's going to destroy that schedule that you set. So you got to make sure, man, that you keep it real with yourself. Don't get out here trying to uh, be something that you're not, okay? We got to understand that our personal life is just as important as our work life. I know there's a lot of entrepreneurs that may see this and uh, uh, disagree with it because a lot of them say, you know, well, when you start a business, it's a 24-hour day thing and you got, listen, don't fall for that trap, okay? We got to make sure that we're making time for things that really, really matter to us. And if you have a family, you have a spouse, you have kids, those are the things that really matter, okay? Those are the things that will help us and that will drive us. Because guess what? If you take care of that woman or that man at the house, man, they're going to help you in your business. They're going to help you so you can grow, so you can be what you need to be, not only for your business, but for the family, all right? So remember that. Always remember to stay focused and keep the things that are important really important to you. Now, in saying that, got to handle the business. Need you guys, man, to make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you hit that notification bell, man. Um, I got a lot of other things I'm going to be working on. I'm going to be dropping some tutorials, uh, some workflow edits. I'm probably going to do some green screen things just to kind of get some stuff out there. Um, make sure that you guys are paying attention to my Find Us Friday videos. 
Uh, there's a lot of missing children. I need you guys watching those videos, man. You may know something, you may not, but you know, you never know. Also, I'm going to be doing uh, a short film here really, really, really soon. Uh, I want you guys to be on the lookout for that, man. And when I drop it, I may do a little giveaway or something just to uh, celebrate my first short film, okay? So listen, you guys have a wonderful day. I want you to be blessed. I want you to create. I want you to be productive. I want you to make everything happen that you said you wanted to happen. And I want you to do it right now, all right? Have a good day.